According to the Biden administration, the Medicare trust fund will be exhausted in just five years. In 2020 alone, Medicare spent $495 billion more than it took in in revenue. In fact, since the program's inception, Medicare's year-over-year -year shortfalls are equivalent to nearly a third of the U.S. federal debt. But progressives are eager to expand the program, both what it covers and who is eligible for it. One proposal is to lower the Medicare eligibility age from 65 to 60. The American Action Forum Center for Health and Economy recently modeled that proposal. The good news is that lowering the Medicare age would result in 3.9 million more Americans having insurance coverage in 2033 than would otherwise have had coverage. The bad news is the cost. We found that at a minimum it would cost $380 billion over 10 years, but as much as $1.8 trillion, or roughly $58,000 annually for each person who gains insurance. Medicare can't meet its current obligations. Policymakers should focus on fixing the program's financing before they look to expand it.